XD Developer TV, what is going on? My name is Kevin, AKA The Tech Ninja. Over the past few days, or maybe even weeks, the big buzz in the Android community has been about the new Nexus 7. This guy right here. The big buzz has been about this, and this video will unfortunately continue that. But today we're actually gonna do a live root of the Nexus 7. There are easier ways to root your device, but here at XDA, it's all about learning how to root your device and going through the experience so you know, you know what exactly you're doing to your phone or, in this case, a tablet. So if you're ready like I'm ready, hang on to your seats and let's get rooting. All right, so to begin our unlocking and rooting journey, um, we are going to first download the files. Uh, there is going to be a link to this page right here, and these are the files you need to download. Also, further down, there's some other stuff you need to download. So um, when we get to that point, I'll talk about it. Um, so this is going to be a three-step video. Step one is just going to be unlocking. Step two is going to be uh, is going to install, uh, you know, custom recovery. In this case, is TWRP, and the third is going to be installing a custom ROM. Well, it's actually more of a, a rooted ROM right now so um, yeah so let's begin as I said before we're gonna download the two files that I had there and we're gonna extract those to our computer and we're gonna make sure our tablet is set in developer mode um, we're gonna set it to ADB debugging so how to do that um, we need to go to settings and then we need to go down to about tablet tap on the build number five times then go to developer options and then make sure USB debugging is checked. That is super important, okay? Um, so now we have that checked, we need to double check to make sure our computer sees our device in device manager, portable devices, Nexus 7, and under Android phone, Samsung, uh, we have Android composite ADB interface. Yes, I know this is a ASUS, why does it say Samsung? Because I had a Samsung phone drivers installed already, so I just kind of used my existing drivers, and it's completely fine. So now that we extracted our Android SDK, we need to head to Platform Tools, and we need to do a Shift, right click, and go into Open Command Prompt Window here. And we need to do a simple command. This is ADB Reboot Bootloader. This forces your device into the bootloader. Um, so my Nexus 7 screen turns off and it goes to a screen that looks like this. This is considered your bootloader, okay? So now we can actually make some changes to our device now. Um, we're going to do one more command. It's fast boot OEM unlock. And right here it's asking me um, unlock the bootloader. So at this point we can use our up and down arrows to say yes, unlock bootloader. And it says you made void your warranty. Here at XDA, we always void warranties. And I can't be held reliable. Uh, pfft, let me stop. I can't be held liable if I voided your warranty. So we're going to go ahead and unlock the bootloader. So press yes. And right now on my screen, as you can see, um, it's it's uh, basically unlocking my bootloader. And now at the very bottom of the, uh, the bootloader, at the very bottom, it says lock state. It says unlock now. Okay. So that's super cool and super important. We are completely unlocked. So if that's all you want to do is unlock your device, it is done. Um, the second step now, we're going to uh, install TWRP recovery. So at this point, um, we can drop the recovery into this location in here, and then we can run a few commands to bring it over. So we're gonna go to files, recovery, and we're gonna drop it right into here. Okay. Ooh, do I do that? And then um, at this point, what I like to do, I like to rename this as instructions say you can rename it to whatever you want. So recovery dash TWRP. All right. So now that we're still in this command prompt window, we're gonna do a fast boot flash recovery then the name recovery dash twrp dot img yeah I know I typed in something wrong 
Oh, geez, I, I named the file wrong. You know, I can type really good, but when the cameras are rolling and people are watching, I can't do it. All right, here we go. So we just flash the recovery. So now at this bootloader screen, we're just actually gonna go up to recovery mode and press OK, which is the power button. And now recovery mode should look different. We should have a blue screen uh, that says TWRP. That's how you know we are actually in the new recovery mode. There it is. All right, now that we have TWRP, so when ROMs start coming out, we can go ahead and install these ROMs. All right, one thing you notice now, you can reboot your device and it should go back into Android without any issues. Now, if you're stuck at a boot loop, pump your brakes for a moment and just know that you're not stuck. There's a bug that's going around that actually deletes all your memory, but it's really easy to fix that. So I'm going to post a link to that thread as well. That will get you back up and running. Now, if you're back into Android, everything looks to be good. Fantastic. But there's one more thing that you're missing. You're not rooted right now. You're in a custom recovery and you are unlocked, but still you need to have root. So what you need to do is you need to go back on your computer and just drag and drop the update SU zip file right onto your device like you would a flash drive. Now that you did that, you wanna go ahead and hold the power button down and the up arrow one more time your device to reset it. And then when it starts resetting, go ahead and do the volume button and the down arrow at the exact same time. That's gonna actually get you back into the recovery mode. Okay, once you're in recovery mode, it's simple. Go ahead and press install. And you wanna go ahead and, or you wanna scroll down to your update-su file, click that and then go ahead and swipe to confirm the flag. And now you're unlocked with a custom recovery and you are rooted on the stock ROM. All right, folks, thank you so much for sticking around. That's all I have for you today. I went over this very high level, very quickly, just to get you an idea on how to root it without using the, the one button scripts. One button scripts are great to use, but at the same time, you don't understand what you're really doing to your device. And here at XDA, we're all about learning, helping you get better and helping you get smarter. All right. So um, once again, my name is Kevin, a.k.a. The Tech Ninja. Go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel as well. And that is it, guys. I'll see you guys in Miami in two weeks. Peace.